Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are talking about Rend and wow am I on the hype train. Whoop whoop! Totally in, all in. I love this game. I'm so excited for it. I am loving the information that's coming out around it. I want this game so bad and I want to get in the alpha so bad. I'm so excited. So I can't wait to share my excitement with you. Share the information that I found. In this video we are going through updates. We are going to constantly giving you guys updates as information comes out. So look for videos on here. So if you guys want more Ren videos and more information around Ren instead of having to find it yourself, just click the subscribe button. You guys can keep up with it. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is Ren. You guys can check it out homepage I'm gonna link all those those down below you can get all these links down below so if you guys watch this little video you can see the worlds that walk through it however how we're gonna go through this is we're gonna talk about some biomes some creatures we're gonna talk about the roadmap that they have for completing alpha some of the media around it and the wiki and everything but let's start off with one of the first biomes and that is hearth home Hearth Home specifically is the area around your base as we talked about in the last video in, and if you didn't see that video I will link it down below also. You can see this is Hearth Home. You can see it's a wide open area. Your base will be somewhere in the middle of it and this is a faction base and then around it is going to be Stag's Wood which is the next biome we're going to talk about and basically what this allows is while the enemy faction may be in Hearth's home and everything like that or not her, so I'm out in the woods and stuff. When they go to attack your base, they have to attack going through wide open spaces and all that kind of fun stuff. So you're going to be able to see them coming. You're going to have a lot of fun when they come in and try to get you and all that kind of stuff. But then inside Hearth Home, this is where you're going to get your basic resources to start off the game. Some of your basic beasts and all that kind of stuff. You're going to get uh, these three beasts are the ones that they have released so far uh, that they have created. They're Frabbits, Grunters, and Yaxen. Frabbits remind me personally of Murlocs, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. Frabbits, Murlocs, Murloc, Frabbit. I think they look pretty close. Basically, these are going to be the first creatures you really encounter in the Hearth Home when you really start fighting for getting leather, food, all those basic resources. You're really going to have to fight them, kill them, and then go ahead and get them. Um, now, I'm going to kind of allude this now. There is taming involved in the game, uh, just like in Ark there was. I don't know which creatures or beasts you're going to be able to... Uh, tame and you're really not going to know until we really get into it or to get to that part in the roadmap which we'll talk about later. I'm going to kind of hint towards the other stuff also throughout this because they kind of tie in uh, but you can see that these are the frabbits. You can see the ideas they had around them, what they were supposed to look like, how big they are compared to the human characters. Uh, but overall, these are just going to be little skittish guys that you run around, you get them for the basic resources off the bat, get your base started and everything. And you'll find these in the hearth home and then you'll have grunters and yaksen in the same area and basically once you get through there you'll move into the next area and the next area is where you're really going to start running into pvp some of the more uh intense creatures is what we're going to say the intense native beasts and that's the stag woods you can see the playthrough right here on what it's going to be it's basically the wooded area on the outside there's going to be caves for splunking and going in and getting some higher end materials some ores in there you're going to get trees this is where you're going to get a lot of your big resources to really start building up your base to make it strong to prevent you from dying during the reckoning during pvp to get more control points and all that kind of stuff but it's going to be the first time you really get away from the base and then you really have to start fighting it out for every little inch that you're going to go in here. Um, sometimes these are great places for outposts to help defend your base and make it so you can see things that are coming. So there are going to be three native beasts that they have discussed on here. Uh, the first one's going to be stags. We'll talk about them in a minute because they've actually introduced them. Wargs, which look like wolves, and ursas. Those are the three native beasts for the stag woods uh, that you're going to see. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at stags. And stags are right here in front of you. Basically, they're just deer would be the best way to put it. Uh, there's going to be 30 types of deer. Their antlers are going to change based on where they are and what area they're in. And basically, in nutshell, um, they're going to be aggressive towards you if you provoke them. So you can just walk by them, but then when you go ahead and try to fight them, they're going to try to kill you. Uh, you might be able to tame them. They're going to be sources of meat leather and all kinds of stuff and basically they're looking to be um, used as kind of one of the higher end abilities of dinosaurs or dinosaurs I said dinosaurs I apologize I was thinking arc beast that you're going to be able to do and you guys can see some of that information down below but that is the stags in general now we're going to jump over to the wiki because they actually introduced a couple other beasts in there uh, the first they're calling it the fang bar on the wiki however if you look back 
that is actually going to be the Ursa, as you can see it right here. That image looks almost the exact same as that one right there. So that's going to be that. The next one is the Hookbill. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the name of it, but this kind of reminds me of a Chocobo, as you can see in the top right. Or you possibly could think of it as a Terrorbird from Ark. You might be able to see that one in the bottom right. And you can see that. So they're going to kind of look like that. Um, they do allude that these might be the rideable mounts. Uh, possibly. I don't know. We'll look into that. That's going to be coming, but um, this could be uh, tameable. I'm guessing it's got something to do with speed based on its legs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the other dinosaur, or I keep saying dinosaur, the other beast that they introduced, because it looks like a dinosaur, is the raptalisk. It looks like a raptor with a basilisk. They're calling it a dragon-like creature, um, and that's going to be another thing that's out there. It's going to be out in the valleys and stuff. Now, these aren't guaranteed. These were not published by Rend themselves but they're not really fighting them. And you can see, obviously, they were in the game, but we don't know if they're going to make it into final production, and we'll see that later. But basically, that's the biomes and all the creatures, guys. I will leave all those links down below. Let's talk about the alpha roadmap and how they're going to progress through the alpha phases and what they're going to do uh, once they've completed it. It's going to enter early release and see where they are. So right now, they've currently done the control points. We talked about that in the last video. They're gonna talk, we're going to talk about the reckoning here in a minute. That's the next phase that they've completed. And then they've got the taming system. That's going to be the next thing. This is where we talked about. These are the hook bills back here. That's why I said I think they might be something that's tameable. They're going to have late game crafting they're going to do. They're going to develop that. They're going to focus talents and perks for each type of the classes. And then breaking down into different skill categories and stuff. The social system, how you interact with the faction, your reputation, what you get with it, the benefits that come out of it. Reminds me of a lot of like the reputation idea with World of Warcraft in there. And then, of course, there's going to be late game biomes. This reminds me again of like raids and the raid type areas and the high level areas where you're going to get all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, this is all yet as of an unannounced environment. So these are things that they're working on, but they're going to take a while. And then there's going to be a full character rework after that to change the way the characters look, the textures and how they move and all that kind of stuff. And then last but not least, they'll hit the user interface. That's uh, because they don't want to cover up the screen in certain areas when you're playing the game. They want to have all the ideas around the game built first and then make the user interface fit the game, which I think is a great idea on there. Um, but you guys can go ahead and check that out and see how this stuff is going to step out. I'll leave that down below. But let's go ahead, jump back to the Reckoning and talk about what the Reckoning is because that is what defines this game being so different than many other games. Here, guys, is the Reckoning home, the page on the Reckoning, and basically what it is, it's an event that happens, um, and this is a timed event that happens, and it's an extremely important event because on official servers, you will know when this event is happening before you join the official server, and it'll be anywhere from two to four hours. They're still trying to decide how long it's going to be. They're going to list the date and time in which this Reckoning is going to happen so that you can choose to play during that time, and during that time is when your base is going to be vulnerable. So let me explain what the Reckoning is, and then we'll touch back base on why that's so important. Basically what happens during the Reckoning is everyone's bases are going to drop down. All their shields are going to drop down. Not their bases. Their shields for their base are going to drop down. So you can't attack home bases for factions without the Reckoning happening. The first thing that's going to happen is the Lost is going to come jumping out and try to um, attack your base first. Um, the Lost specifically is, I apologize, this one right here is the Lost. So this is the loss. That's what they're going to look like when they're attacking your base. And basically what's then going to happen is they're going to come wave after wave after wave until you've defeated the Reckoning or if they defeated your base. And then your base is going to continue to have shields down, and this is where the major PvP is going to happen. Now, PvP is going to happen on the control points throughout the whole time the game is running, but during the Reckoning specifically, your bases are going to be open. It's going to allow other factions to attack your base, attempt to steal your stuff, steal your souls and all that kind of fun stuff, and really get in there and try to mess with your whole base and change the way the game is played and basically change who's going to win it. And this is what's really going to be a lot of deciding factors of which faction wins and gets to ascend to Valhalla. Now, um, after that, you can have a choose. You can try to, after the lost hit, you can go ahead and try to rebuild your base, defend it really quick, try to hold off. Or if you're kind of the stronger faction, you have a lot of control points, you might be able to just go ahead 
and attack another faction's base and try to get a bigger thing. It's really going to depend. It's going to be all kinds of stuff, um, and, and they're going to keep expanding how this reckoning is going to work. Specifically, they're going to expand how the lost work, how they do things. If they feel like it's getting too strong or whatever, the lost getting too weak, they'll make it change, and they're going to keep developing the game to continue to challenge players on there. So the Reckoning is really the biggest thing that's going to make this game so different because not only do you have PvP whenever you want in certain areas, but at the same time you don't have to PvP. You can stay in your little base, stay in your general area, try to protect yourself, not get picked on, not do control points, but then it gives you a specific time where you know you're going to have to play, or you don't have to, but you should play because your base can't get destroyed prior to that, so then you can defend your base when it's there, so you're not getting attacked all flying all the time, having all these little things that are happening when you're not playing the game this makes it so you know when you should be playing the game if you need to and when your base is going to get attacked is going to be during this two to four hour window and you know you can set time aside if you want to so that's going to help people who are big players into the game that play it all the time it's going to help those players that are just casual players they can play during that time a little bit on the side to level their guy up whatever it is but it basically gives you the opportunity to know when things are happening rather than having them unexpectedly but that doesn't say you can't develop that by doing control points and stuff you can create the unexpected it just allows both hardcore and casual players to play together and not be punished on either direction and i think that's really cool so really, that's the end of the overall updates around the game. Um, a couple other things I do want to show you is the media section. You guys saw me go into that really quick to show you the Lost. There's all kinds of cool media out there. They're showing you what bases look like that they've created in the game. They show you the world tree so you can see who's winning, players ascending, all the different native beasts and stuff, and some of the gear that they're going to put out there. And I think it's going to be a really cool... Um, thing you can see there's actually a, another native beast that they did not allude to and there's these little spiderlings with big giant one eyeball million eyeball things I don't know what they are but they look kind of cool uh, and, and they look really nifty so they'll be down in the caves it looks like but there's a lot of information on here you guys can infer some of it and you can try to figure it out but I think the game is going to be fantastic. As I said, I'm all in on the hype train. I'm getting the collector's edition. If there is one or whatever it is, I'm super excited. I'm trying to get into alpha. I hope I do. But really, that's going to be it for all the information around Ren, guys. So if you have any more questions or anything, go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below. But basically, if you guys are new to the channel, you want more information on Ren, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you guys can know when more information comes out around it and you guys can see what's happening with the development of this game. If you like this video, make sure you guys give us the thumbs up. And as always, if you have any ideas around it, if you're playing the alpha or anything of that nature, let us know in the comments down below. If there's something you want to see, something we missed, anything of that nature leave a comment down below and if you guys want to support us with this video other videos whether they're around seven days or anything of that nature make sure you guys go ahead check out our patreon page you guys can see what happens there but as always guys i hope you all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of lemur's corner